What's up you guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeff and in today's video I'm really excited to review track by track the beautiful, amazing masterpiece Eternal Blue by Spirit Box. And before we get started you guys make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. And now let's move on to the video, let's go. Let's start with the, the first song, Sun Killer. And this song is, uh, well, pretty much sets the tone for the rest of the album because we've got like insane ambience, epic choruses, and oh my God, this last breakdown on the outro. I, I should have done like a proper uh, reaction on this one because it was absolutely epic. And also the, the effects on the songs, like uh, all the shimmers and uh, well, the ambience in general of the song is absolutely amazing. Moving on to Hurt You, so if you haven't seen my reaction, I can just pop it just right there if you want to watch it. But I really, really love the song. The music video is absolutely amazing. And same, the riffs are insane. Courtney's vocal, absolutely on point. I invite you to watch the reaction if you want to, to see how I react. And on now, let's move on to Yellow Jacket. So Yellow Jacket is got a feature with some character from Architects and oh my days, this song is so insane. The, the riffs are absolutely epic and uh, the, the vocal of some characters fits so well on the song. It, it literally like, I wouldn't see anyone else doing it, even if I'm not like a massive, massive fan of Architects. I love Architects, but uh, I think this song is absolutely amazing and it feels good to have. Literally the breakdown gave me a heart attack and uh, it kind of sounds like Architects in a way because of Sam Carter, but I really, really enjoyed the song. On the next song, The Summit, The Summit is absolutely beautiful. We've got a very, very chill intro, absolutely beautiful ambience as well. And the, the chuggy riff just, uh, I think it's just before the chorus or after, I can't remember. I absolutely love the tone that uh, Mike Stringer used. I think it's absolutely beautiful and Courtney's voice is, is Oh my god. I don't know how she can do that, but this song is absolutely insane. And there is an uh, there there is another beautiful transition. There is an absolute beautiful um transition uh to go to the last chorus. And I think well, th this transition is absolutely absolutely banging. I I have literally nothing else uh, to say beside that. So the summit is an absolute beautiful song. Not my favorite, but Still in the, still here. I, I really love it. Now moving on to Secret Garden. Secret Garden, oh, I also did a reaction just right there if you want to watch it. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, but the it kind of reminds me of Animals as Leaders in a way. It's, uh, it's pretty cool in terms of the riff and ambience, kinda. So if you want to watch the full reaction, you just got the thingy just right there. And now let's move on to Scale the String. And Skill the Strings is, I think, one of my favorite ones because uh, the bouncy riffs, uh, especially in the beginning, literally set me for the rest of the, of the song. I was like, oh my god, it's happening, there you go. And uh, it also reminded me a lot of uh, I Wrestle the Bear ones. That that's the kind of song that they could have put on the previous on the on the latest album they did before they split it up or something like that. And that riff on the post chorus is so cool. Oh my god, I, I love this song. For sure it's one of my favorite songs. And now let's move on to Holy Roller. And for Holy Roller, if you haven't subscribed yet, I really invite you to subscribe because 96% of you are watching my videos but haven't subscribed. Feel free to subscribe, that's always support me and support the channel and it's free, so feel free to do it. And about Holy Roller, I did, I think I did a reaction on this song or not, I can't remember, but I also did a cover that I'm just gonna put right here. I love this song, very simple, effective, especially in terms of playing. And uh, yeah, I love this song, it's, it's a banger. And uh, now moving on to Eternal Blue. The ambience is so beautiful. I don't know how they can mix like nasty riff with, uh, with this type of like really chill ambience. It's so well done. Like, I don't know if it's uh, just the songwriting or the production, but it is so perfect. At least for me, it's it's perfect the way that they use the shimmers and the, and the nasty guitar riff, it's, uh, it's beautiful. And also one more time, Courtney's vocal is pff, not even on point. It's like, wow, she's a goddess, man. 
And now we live in a strange world. The intro sounds almost like a pop song in a way, and uh, it's actually pretty cool because it's uh, it it's got like a, a really really massive guitar tone, and also you've got like a kind of like mix with a, a touch, let's say a touch of hip hop on it. And uh, yeah, this song is a little bit different than the others, and I think it's uh, it's really good to hear this kind of song in the album because it gives you another like another breath, you know, it's always a surprise and still not my favorite, but I really, really enjoyed it. Now, Halcyon, I have no idea how to pronoun pronunciate that. I'm too French for that, sorry. <laughs> it's a very atmospheric uh, song, as I like to call. It's like very, very wide, but nothing too crazy. And once again, you've got like really, really thick guitar. And the, the cool progression is so well done because it gives you like the, the semitone who gives you another direction when you listen to the song that you're not expecting and I absolutely love it. I, I really enjoyed this song. And seriously, that outro is absolutely fire. I, I love it so much. Now a circle with me. I think this one is also one of my favorite songs. The first time I did the reaction that you can watch just right here. I really, really enjoyed it, especially the, the breakdown. The music video is absolutely gorgeous and the, the guitar is... Wow, it's... I love this song so much. And also for um, Constance, I really, really also love this song. I think it's uh, one of the most beautiful songs that they ever written. And uh, th th there is literally nothing else to say besides that. You can watch the reaction here. I literally did all the singles in reaction from Spirit Box. This is awesome. So now let me tell you my favorite songs of the album. The first one will be um, Silk the Strings, Circle With Me. And the last one, I would say the summit because it's a it's a beautiful mixture of uh, everything that I that I love in music in general, and I would choose those three, even though the album is absolutely spectacular. And I'm probably sure I'm not gonna sell anything before the end of the year, but I'm pretty sure this is for me the album of the year. I don't know what you think about this, guys. Let me know in the comment section. But for me, I think it's gonna be the album of the year because I haven't heard, I haven't been excited to hear an album since pff, I can't tell you what. But uh, absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching until the end of this video. Really appreciate that. Let me know in the comment section what is your favorite songs um, in the comments. And make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel as well. And I will see you on the next video. Bye bye.